and welcome to part two of this three-part training series. Um, first of all, before we go any further, can I just say thank you very much for the feedback and the comments. I appreciate them and I really enjoyed reading them. And if you've not had a response yet, then hang by your inbox and my responses will be with you in the next 24 hours or so. And this next uh, tip that I want to share with you, to give you an idea of how powerful it is, I was out in Germany and Turkey uh, last week and the guys out there thought that this was one of the most powerful tips I shared with them. I've been working with some retail managers, helping them in their customer handling processes and they were really excited by this body language tip that I want to give you in this segment. Um, just before we go any further as well, just to let you know where I am at the moment, obviously I'm driving, I'm not in the studio. And I'm on my way to a major Ford dealership in the north of England who I've been privileged to call a client for the last 12 months or so. And I've been working with their sales management team and with their salespeople, putting the wow factor into the customer handling experience. And again, just like the guys out in Germany, just like the guys in Turkey, the boys at Ford all feel that this is one of the top tips that I've shared with them and this has had a major impact in getting people to say yes and buy more cars from them. So let's take ourselves to the studio but before we do if you've not had a chance to watch tip number one which was on the psychology of the mindset of a champion salesperson then click on the link and go and watch uh, the first part first and when you add these two together then you really will have a couple of powerful techniques that will take you to the top of your sales lead. So if you're really serious about becoming a top salesperson, what you do know is that you can get all the tips and hints you need from these videos right from your desk that will turn you into a champion salesperson. So, as I say, if you're really serious about becoming a top, top salesperson, then let's go to the studio and let me share with you my number one body language tip for salespeople. Hi and welcome back, it's good to see you again and congratulations for making it this far. You'd be surprised how many people don't get past tip number one, even though all of these tips are dynamic sales tips that will improve your sales and make you a better salesperson just sitting at the desk watching your computer. In this session, I wanna share with you my number one body language tip. Now there's lots of information out there on body language. There's a plethora of information. You can get information on gaining rapport, on influencing people through matching and mirroring, on uh, eye positions, on where people process information, facial expressions when people are lying, all of that kind of information. And we can share some of that with you later on. But right now, I wanna share with you my number one body language tip, which is the simplest tip and the most effective. If you can perfect this and start to do this regularly, you will definitely see your sales rates increase. People in your showrooms and on the pitch, people will notice a difference in terms of the way you approach them and you'll get more people saying yes more often. And the tip is this, it's a real simple tip. You need to learn to nod. Whenever you ask a question, was it the automatic you wanted, you nod and they'll say yes. Did you like the color? And you nod and they'll say yes. Whatever question you ask, if you want a positive answer out of them, then you nod. Nodding gets the other person nodding. The interesting thing for human beings is when you get them nodding, you create a yes connection in their brain and the standard answer is yes. You get them to process yes mentally, even if they don't say it out loud. Nodding is what gets people agreeing with you and moving forwards in the way that you want them to do so. So I wanna really encourage you, learn to nod. Now you might think that's a real simple tip and most people, when they actually see it in action and they've tried it and we've done it in the training rooms, they agree with me that nodding really is a good thing to do. However, when I go out into showrooms and I say to people, have you tried the nodding? It's amazing how many people say to me, well, I haven't had a chance yet. Well, you've got loads of opportunity every time somebody comes into the showroom in fact why wait until you see somebody in the showroom why don't you practice at home practice on your boss practice on your friends whenever you want people to agree with you then start learning to nod nodding is definitely the way forward so i would encourage you from tomorrow the next time you engage with a customer and you're asking them a question and you want them to agree with you then learn to nod and that's my number one body language tip nod all the time. 
You can tell when you're in the company of a professional salesperson because they nod. You can tell when you're watching a professional salesperson because the customer is also nodding along as well. Number one tip, nod. So that's it for part two. Um, thanks very much for watching. Now you may be thinking that the, these tips and particularly the, that last one are a bit simple. Um, and you'd be right, they are simple, but don't underestimate how dynamic they are. Remember, the guys in Germany and the guys in Turkey thought that these were amongst the most powerful things that I'd shared with them. And the boys and girls at Ford are also of the opinion these are the things that made a big difference to them. Uh, their mindset in part one and the number one body language which is nodding in part two. So take the tips, take them into the showroom, take them onto the used car pitch with you, use them with your customers every day and you'll start to notice a difference and you'll start selling more and getting to the top of that sales loop. And that's the beauty of these tips. You can improve your sales performance just by watching these short videos sat at your desk. These short videos and just sitting at your desk will take you to the top of your sales league. So thanks again for watching. Uh, before you go, as usual, can I ask you just to put your comments in the comments box below. Um, and maybe this time think about these two questions. Did you notice yourself nodding along with me on the studio session? And the second question, maybe as we move into part three to think about is, do you ever have problems getting your prospect to go all the way through the sales process with you? So they're the two questions I'd like you to think about and pop your comments in the box. I'm nearly at my destination now with my uh, Ford client. So once again, thanks for watching. I'm off. Uh, remember, put your comments in the two questions. Did you nod along with me on the studio session? And also, um, do you have any challenges sometimes in getting prospects to go all the way through your sales process with you? And I'll be answering that one for you in part three. So thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in part three.